Hey guys, what's up? It's Sarah and welcome to week one of my theme series. I am so excited about this. We have made it to day three. We have made it to my favorite color in the series that I'm so excited. And if you can't already tell, today's color is yellow. Oh my gosh. I just want to let you know before we even start, it's still doing it. <laughs> um, I'm not really sure what to do to combat it, but my eye has been leaking. It started when I was filming yesterday's video and it won't stop. It just won't stop. I don't know what to do, but it's fine. So if you want an explanation of what's going on, because you're like, what are you talking about? Themes, day three, what? Go check out either one, my first video, which was on Monday, that it kind of explains the overview of this theme and what we're gonna be doing. And you could also go back to a couple weeks ago when I posted the I have an announcement video and I talk in depth about kind of everything that's gonna be happening with my channel. Let's just jump in, as you can see. Today's color is yellow. Yellow is not my favorite color, but it does make me so happy. And this is one of my favorite sweatshirts ever. Let's start with a little bit of info on what yellow means. But I'm also gonna be incorporating some golds because that's kind of in like the yellow family. So I did both info, uh, I did info on both yellow and gold today so that way we kind of get a feel for both. Yellow, as we all know, I'm sure, is the color of the sun, sunshine, and warmth. Makes me think of summer when I think of yellow or spring. And yellow is happiness, sunshine, hope. As far as yellow gems go, I talked about this in my last video and I really wanna start doing this. People carry different crystals and different things around to give them a certain kind of energy. So the energy and the symbolism Sim, I don't know what word I'm trying to come up with, but behind the yellow gem is feelings of clarity, understanding what's going to be going on, feeling like you know the path you're headed on, feeling like, okay, I know what I need to get done. I feel like I understand where I'm at in my life and specifically decision-making. Now moving on to gold. Gold is for success, triumph, winning, feeling on top of the world, feeling like you can conquer anything. Gold, I found out, is actually masculine. I always thought of gold as a very feminine color only because it just reminds me of jewelry, of course. I always thought silver was more masculine, but I guess gold is masculine. Gold is uplifting, the feeling like I'm revived. The feeling of being generous, of giving to other people, and being compassionate of others and to others around you, feeling empathy, as well as understanding everybody around you, as well as understanding yourself. Side one has been watering for a while. Look at, the other side is doing it now. And I just wanna tell you, it doesn't hurt. Like, I'm not, my eyes aren't sensitive, they're not irritated. We should jump right into the makeup. I'm so excited and I'm ready to do this. So let's take a sip of our tea. And let's get right into it. Okay, so I started with my base on just as I have in the past two videos. Can you guess which base I'm going to use? Dun, 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 dun. Actually, look at this. It blends right in. This could be my shirt. So this is the Morphe M573, and I'm gonna take it with my Jeffree Star palette in the base that I always use because it's the same color as my skin tone. Parched, right here, up in the corner. I've decided that I don't want to just use yellows. Obviously I used gold, I told you I was gonna use golds as well, but that's for the shimmer on the lid. As far as the crease color though, I wanna darken it up with some brown. I know, it's kinda weird but bear with me. So I'm first gonna take that big fluffy brush that we just used, and I'm gonna go in with the Jeffree Star palette. Why did I say his name like Jeffree Star? Jeffree Star palette, why did I say it? 
this shade down here called Quench. Are you ready? I'm not ready. I'm, I'm excited. Okay, so I'm gonna leave it at this for right now. And then I am gonna go in with a brown. Hear me out. <clears throat> it needs to get deepened. I can't just use yellow, it will look so bad. So I'm gonna go in with this guy, the Morphe M513. <clears throat> and I'm gonna go in with this drizzle shade right at the bottom from that same palette. Right here. And we're gonna try using that shade and tucking it into the crease. You know what, maybe we'll do a pop of yellow on the bottom lash. Maybe I'll do like a light brown look on the top and then I'll pop some yellow under and have that be like the pop. Okay, that looks better. I like that a lot better. I put more brown on and I kind of blended that out. in hopes to almost erase the yellow so that way I can make it pop at the bottom, the bottom lash. So that's what we're gonna do. I like that a lot better. So let's go in with a darker brown. You know what we'll do? We'll have gold be the top lid and then we'll do yellow on the bottom. Okay. I got some oranges as well that I'm gonna use. So let's go in with the Morphe and Jaclyn Hill collab, The Vault Collection with the palette Armed and Gorgeous. And I'm gonna go in with some orange. So I'm gonna start with this guy called Secure. Same brush. And I'm gonna put him kind of all over, blending up towards the brow bone. I probably should have made this like a yellow and orange, I feel like, day. That would make more sense. I'm gonna go in, you know what? This access shade right here is kind of the same color as my hoodie. It's a little darker, but it's about there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take that and go in with this fluffy brush that we used for our yellow earlier. Dip into that shade and I'm gonna focus it right up here. So this is what we're at, where we're at right now. I don't like it, I have to tell you. It's not a working out the way that I thought it was going to, but at the same time, there is hope. I'm not losing faith in this look. I think once we add shimmers and stuff, it might work out a little better. So what I'm doing is taking that bone shade, parched, that we used all over our lid, and I'm just softening this outer edge, and hopefully it's not gonna look as harsh with yellow. Here's where we're at. I think we should do some shimmer yeah okay let's do some shimmer let's do some gold let's jump in I had this gold right here which is in Jeffrey's palette but it's kind of I don't know if you can tell it's much different than the other shades I'm not sure if that was my fault do you see how shiny and pushed down that shade is and how different these ones are compared to that I don't know but there is a shade that is sticking out to me that I feel like goes with this vibe that we have going on with this sweatshirt today and it's one that I use pretty often it's from Jeffrey's palette again and it's this green gold shimmer called filthy rich right here you can see it's got like a green hue to it but it is still gold I've used it so many times and I've, I've I fall in love with it over again every time that I use it I love it a lot so I'm gonna take this and just put this all over my lid. Are you kidding? Do you see why I love this shade? It's beautiful. It's so pretty, wow. I have to tell you, I really did think that it was gonna look more green, like against the brown. I'd never really thought about it in like a yellow way before, but it looks yellow. Look. That looks yellow. In the best way. It's making me so happy that it looks yellow. It looks gorgeous. Next. Let's do it. 
I'm gonna grab that same shade, that yellow one that we used in the very beginning called Quench. Take it on this little mini detail brush, the M506. Let's see how this goes. I'm gonna put it on the bottom lash. I'm like nervous. I don't know why I'm like really nervous. I don't even want to go over there by where the leakage is in my eye. I don't even want to attempt it. Ready? I had a plan that I was going to do a wing. I was going to do this big yellow with the wing and all this other stuff. And I'm realizing now that I can't do a wing because of this leakage that's happening in my eye. It's just gonna make the wing run down my face. So unfortunately, I'm not gonna be doing a wing. I am, however, going to do a thin line on the top of my lash line just to kind of give it a little bit of something something up there, but I am not gonna do a wing liner. I really wish I could, but unfortunately my eye is just not working with me today. I think we need some lashes and some, I was gonna say liner, we already did liner. We need some lashes and we need some mascara and then I will be back to pop on a lip for you guys, but I'll be right back. Okay guys, I am back. I just put some mascara and some lashes on and this is the look. <laughs> I say that all the time, I bet you're so annoyed with me, but it's, you know what? I'm annoyed with myself. I think we should finish this up with a lip. Now I used my new favorite nude two videos ago and I think I want to use it again today. Yeah, let's do it. I just want to use it again. So I'm going to grab some of my Maracuja, Maracuja oil, whatever, from Tarte. My new found favorite nude my perfect nude. It is from Maybelline and it's called Nude Embrace. Oh, you'll see why. I want the yellow to kind of stick out and I don't have any like yellow lipstick. So I figured it would just work out just to do like a nude. Ready? Okay. I like the way that this turned out a lot. I think it's a lot more yellow, actually, than I was expecting it to turn out, and I'm really glad that it did because I wanted the yellow to kind of pop and come out, and it really didn't. At first, and I was really upset, and I was really getting frustrated with my eyes and everything, and I was like, this look is gonna be horrible, it's not gonna turn out right, and I was kind of telling myself those things in my head, but now that I look at this look, I actually really like it. Give this video a thumbs up, please subscribe and hit that button down below so that way you can come back and hang out with us for our last two days of color week. And you can come back for the themes that I got planned for weeks to come. All right, that's all I got. Thank you guys for hanging around with me. I appreciate it. Make sure to come back for the rest of the week. Bye you guys.